Oh, I got this one. A board foot is a common measurement for lumber, while a square foot is a deformity that makes it difficult to walk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A square foot measures surface area, which is great for some materials, but wood comes in different thicknesses, and the mill wants to get paid more for a two-inch thick board than he would for, say, a one-inch thick one. So, someone invented the board foot, which measures volume. One board foot is equal to one square foot of board surface, as long as that board is only an inch thick. If it's two inches thick, that's two board feet, and so on. Now you may ask, why do we need board feet when we already had cubic feet to calculate volume? And to that I'd say, you asked too many questions. This does sound a little bit crazy, because when I was in school, we were taught that if the bigger number on the fraction is on top, you're supposed to convert that. So a fraction like six-fourths would be an inch and a half. And that's really what those figures mean when we're talking about wood. A six-quarter board is an inch and a half thick. Four-quarter is an inch thick, and so on. Of course, these are just rough measurements. I believe the official standard for a four-quarter board is actually only 13 sixteenths of an inch thick. It doesn't have to be a full inch. That really depends on how generous your mill is. Some mills will make them thicker, others a little bit thinner. So why don't we just say one inch or inch and a half and so on? Well, it's because woodworking is a very old craft, full of old traditions. In this case, the numbering system goes back to the old sawmill days. The mill was set up so that the operator could pull a handle to adjust the thickness of the boards he wished to cut. One pull of the handle was a quarter inch, so if he wanted an inch, he would pull it four times, or four quarters. Inch and a quarter would be five times for five quarters. You get the idea. Of course, this is what some people believe. I tend to believe it, but there are other stories out there, and the fact is, no one really knows why it's measured in quarters. Well, that's it for this edition of Ask Stumpy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below and ring the bell. And if you have a question you'd like to see answered in a future episode, email us at support at stumpynubs.com. For more woodworking tips, tricks, and tutorials, check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, which you can read and subscribe to for free at stumpynubs.com. Now I'm going to sit back and have myself a cold one, because answering questions is thirsty work.